Hi, in this video we'll be looking at ways in which we can manage queries and reports and move them from one environment to another. Here is a list of some of the tools that can create reports such as Query Builder, Excel, Explorer, Publisher, the web channel. And we also have a list of custom tables, fields and joins which can create some of the objects that feed into those reports. Let's start off with Excel. And in this example, you can see that I have a workbook and it has a list of accounts. And this formula here, called account balances, is bringing back a list of accounts. Query Manager is used in Excel to manage all the queries. And you can see that this workbook contains quite a few different queries for different sections. What I'd like to do is just move this worksheet to a new workbook. Now, you would think that if you just use the uh, move copy, so we're going to make a copy of account master sheet, and we're going to move it to the new workbook, that that would be sufficient. But it's moved the formula, but the query itself is not in the new workbook. So what we have to do is move the query as well. So let's go back into query manager and you can see here we have account balances but if we go to the new workbook there is no account balances so this query over here will have nothing to tie into in the new workbook we need to move or copy that query from here to here first of all let's give the the existing workbook focus and we'll edit the account balances query You'll notice that in Query Builder, there's a right click and copy to clipboard. There's also a save, so you can save to file, but I find the copy to clipboard is a lot quicker. So let's put that query on the clipboard and close that now. And this is very important. We now need to give focus to the new workbook because that's the target. When we select book four, which is the new one, we go new. And now we can retrieve that query from the clipboard. You can see that it's brought everything in and all we need to do now because it's moved between the two workbooks is rebind the cell references. So we had a company which was on this cell here and we had the period which was so I'll select that and double click onto the cell. Go OK and you can see now that we have a query in book four, but the the formula is referring to the query by its name, which is account balances. So we just need to call the query the same name. Once you've done that, we can go over to the new workbook and we'll double click on the company, for example, you can see that it's now working and we've moved the query from one environment to another. If I was to deploy these reports uh, via email to a client who didn't have Sharpalite installed, they would have a problem with these formulas here because they don't have Sharpalite installed so you won't be able to refresh the data at all. So what we need to do in that scenario is give them a snapshot of the workbook. You can see here that we have various sheets and they've all got formulas to bring it back. So we need to somehow remove all these formulas. That can be done by using the icon which is detach formulas. After I press detach formulas, you'll see that all these cell references will be turned into constants. So if you had an aggregation, for example, it would just leave the value and remove the formula. So I'm going to go ahead now and click on detach formulas. Yes, always keep a master copy of, of the workbook before doing this. Say yes, and you can see now that those formulas are gone. And this workbook's ready to email out or distribute and there won't be any data refreshed. 
It's also a good mechanism for archiving workbooks. Moving on from Excel to Publisher, you can see here that I have a, a number of reports that I've created in Publisher and I'd like to move them or export them as a single report pack and deploy them to another site. To do that, I can save each individual file and then load them on the target site or I could export the whole list. You can see here that I've got an option to select all or I could just select the reports of interest. When you import these on the target system, so I'll just save that file. So I've exported 19 items. When I come back to import these files, a version and last modified check will be done. So using the version number is important for controlling uh, the warning messages when someone imports the, the reports and they want to replace the older version or keep the new version. That's exporting publisher reports. There's also reports in the web channel called dashboard pages. Just click on the link that will take us to the list of the dashboard pages. You can see that we have a import button and also an export button. These will export each dashboard page to a XML file which then can be imported in. So the process is quite simple. Moving on to Explorer, uh, not everyone may know that Explorer can be used as a mechanism for delivering whole reports that are organized into, into tabs. These reports can be saved as files and then desktop shortcuts can be created to those files so it will automatically load the report. So the deployment of Explorer reports is quite simple. And finally, we'll move on to uh, custom tables and fields. With custom tables and fields, you need to go into Query Builder and also make sure that you have access or add uh, rights to uh, custom tables, fields, and joins. Let's have a look at custom tables first. So we'll go into the tables lookup and do a right click and you can see that there's the option for creating a custom table. The idea is to, to create a SQL statement or some sort of view that will customize the data model. You can see that I don't have any at the moment but I'll just quickly create one. To create a custom table we just hit new and then select the data model that we'd like to apply the custom table to and here it's prompting us just to put in the SQL statement that will require, that will build the new extension. So I'll just say this is, this is my custom table and I've applied a SQL statement and we'll just fix up that error which is a space there and we've created a custom table. We can then choose where it appears and also tune the options. So we'll just go apply there and close that and you can see now that the custom table appears in the list. So if we move reports that are based on this custom table we need to also export the custom table and deploy it to the other side. So we'll just come back into custom tables and like most of the other options we've got to save and load so we just need to to do that. There's also the option if we were to look at this uh, sales table for example that we can extend the fields by doing add field and add join. So if we were to create those we'd also need to move those from one site to another using the export and import. In closing I'll just take you through Query Builder and some of the finer options for sharing queries and moving them. So we saw before that we could copy and also import from the clipboard. When we do this all the drill throughs and underlying logic that's embedded in the query is moved to the clipboard or to the file. So you're not going to lose any details. For example if you do a drill through or query unions 
or expressions. Everything would be moved. This concludes a brief overview of how to move reports between environments and also how to deploy reports from one site to a new site.